This is Alan Bush with ADMIS with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, January 14th. In the stock index futures, we did see higher prices in the overnight trade. Much of this linked to better than expected earnings in the banking sector. However, some pressure then developing as the gains that we did see in the overnight session in crude oil uh, being somewhat diminished. Still thinking though that longer term that the main trend is still higher, but right now we are caught in the midst of various uh, geopolitical issues. We have the Chinese economic slowdown that is very much grabbing the headlines. Also though, keep in mind that it was just a year ago, in fact, last January of 2015 is when the Chinese government embarked on a new stimulus program. Since then, they have cut rates several times, added more stimulus uh, to varying degrees. So ultimately, I think that the Chinese economy will do much better than most analysts are currently anticipating. And right now, I think, is the time after the first stimulus was announced that we will start to see some economic benefits uh, showing up as a result of that year-long economic stimulus package. Also, with the geopolitical events being a, a bit of a negative, keep in mind that it was July of 2014 where we had the Argentinian $29 billion debt default. Seemed like the end of the world at the time, and yet stock index futures were able to come back from that as they have been following every geopolitical event that did take indices down since the lows were made in March of 2009. Now, moving over to the currencies, the dollar index a little bit lower, some profit taking coming in there. We are seeing the euro currency higher after German GDP coming in as expected, up 1.7%. Some pressure in the pound. This after the Bank of England kept their monetary policies unchanged. However, they did indicate that they are seeing a weakening outlook for the UK economy, so that pressured the pound. Interest rate markets under some pressure, especially at the long end, uh, with the 30-year bonds uh, uh, weakening. This somewhat related to a partial recovery or somewhat of a recovery in the energy markets. Also, stock indices a bit firmer, at least earlier they were firmer. Longer term, we feel that the main trend is lower for the 30-year bonds as global core inflation rates start to increase and they have started to advance as of last uh, December. So the long term trend on the bond still appears to be lower with what we are seeing now. So good trading everyone and once again remember these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.